Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be uh, looking at another example of drag gesture uh, where we can actually compute uh, the uh, speed of dragging uh, within the view. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, another uh, state variable. So we're going to say at state private var. And this time it's going to be last drag position so we want to track last drag position drag gesture dot value and we also want to create another state to basically uh, change a property so what we're going to do is we're going to change the shadow color um, depending upon the speed at which uh, we our drag is uh, drag gesture is moving. So we're gonna say color dot gray as a default color. Okay, and uh, then um, oh, I, just a type. Okay, there we go. All right. So uh, we have like, you know, shadow defined. So instead of like having this shadow with this overload, we're gonna use different overload that takes color, shadow color. Radius is still gonna be 20. X and Y are gonna be zero and zero. So shadow appears right behind the view. Okay, offset value is still gonna be there and uh, your kill to fit is still gonna be there. So now we're gonna say gesture and uh, you're gonna say drag gesture, all right? Minimum distance, it's gonna be 10 once again. Now, this time we are going to say on change, okay? So we're gonna say on change, right? Um, once again, value, and uh, we're gonna say self dot offset value dot translation okay and uh we also want to save our uh this value to basically this last drag position okay so we can use that value uh later on when um on ended is called okay and when on ended is called we're gonna say take value and uh, we're gonna first compute time difference Okay, so you're gonna say value dot time dot time interval since self dot last drag position dot time. Okay, so you're gonna compute the time difference between the current when it was ended and the last drag time. You're gonna compute distance or speed based on that speed. And you're gonna say CG float. And then you're gonna say value dot translation dot height minus self dot last drag position dot translation dot height and we're gonna divide this once again we need to cast the CG float time difference. Okay this will give us the speed and we're gonna say if speed is greater than for example, um, uh, 300, right? In the time, in this, uh, in this uh, distance value, uh, distance versus uh, uh, time difference value. You gonna say self dot shadow color, and uh, we're gonna change that to red. Okay. Else, you gonna say self dot shadow color is equal to black. Okay. All right. Um, and at the end, we also want to say self dot um, offset is equal to CD size dot zero. Right. Let's also don't forget to give the animation, and we're going to say this time is going to be spring animation, and we are ready to run our example. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm gonna resume this and uh, 
There we go. Let's run our example. And while we're moving, we're moving slowly so there's no issue. And if we move, if we track really fast, see, there we go. So if we track really fast, uh, we see that color being changed like that. All right, so color change is just uh, one, um, uh, it's just one property that I wanted to show you, like, you know, how you can compute the distance, uh, this value of, like, you know, speed, uh, how how much uh, speed uh, you want to consider to be, like, you know, the speed where you want to take some event or you want to trigger some events is, uh, depending upon you, I'm just taking a constant, like, you know, 300, but you can actually uh, very well change it uh, depending upon your need as well, okay? So uh, that that is the example of uh, how uh, you can actually compute the speed of dragging and uh, basically change or make your view behave according to that, okay? So uh, this is it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at another example of, um, of drag gesture uh, and uh, this time, uh, we're going to use a uh, gesture state once again that we used uh, last time to see how we can uh, reset uh, values uh, using gesture state uh, to its original form. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.